So here's how the kit will look when you get it. Um, the exact uh, configuration and packaging may be different, but uh, these are the components that you will be getting. So let's uh, go through them one by one and explain what they are. So from my right here, um, this is a heatsink, obviously. Uh, if you order an air um, version, air-cooled version, that's the heatsink that you will be getting. If you order a liquid-cooled version, you will be getting a cold plate uh, designed for water cooling. On here we have the control board. There's a control board. This is a driver board. And these two are identical um, bridge board, input bridge boards. Uh, why we have two, I will explain later when we will be assembling the bridge. These are the two inductors that you will use. Uh, they are identical unless um, there are special um, considerations for your order, which we uh, would have discussed uh, before you placed an order. Uh, that could include higher output rating and things like that, so it would, uh, could build a customized inductor for you. Uh, These are the main components. So generally, um, we'll have um, a bit of um, integrated circuit parts. Uh, this includes Sardina uh, chip, it includes FTDI, it includes a couple of chips inside here as well on a um, soft platform. Let me fish them out. So this is an Arduino. These are various chips that you will need. Uh, two IGBT drivers, a uh, comparator for the, um, uh, for the control board, ISO 124 um, isolating amplifiers, and this is the uh, um, current sensor. Okay, and there is also inside there, uh, there is a uh, PFC chip that you will also use. So let's put it back in. And this is the um, FTDI. Uh, that you use to program your Arduino. Okay, put it back. The next one over here is a pocket with a bunch of connectors. Really, um, everything that you will need to connect things together. Um, so, these white things are the connector for the driver board. Uh, you will put the male connector here and the female uh, with some pins and wires that you will provide will connect to various places on the uh, power board. Um, there are also things like uh, female 0.1 inch headers that you will use with the Arduino and uh, a number of um, various terminals and connectors for um, uh, power board and the um, driver board. There are buttons here and a couple of other things. Then the next pocket here is a bunch of resistors. Um, uh, these are all resistors that are supplied with the kit and you generally will need to um, uh, look up the color codes um, for the resistor identification, easy to get online. Um, there's not not too many um, varieties here so it should be easy enough. Um, the next pocket over here is capacitors. So some electrolytic capacitors, some uh, ceramic capacitors. Uh, electrolytic, you generally have the labeling uh, right on the capacitor. On the uh, ceramics, you also have labelings, but they're a little bit harder to decipher. So this little guy is a 10-4 um, capacitor, which is um, 10 times 10 to the fourth degree picofarad. So 10 times 10 to the fourth is 10 to the, uh, to the fifth degree, which is 100,000 picofarad, which is 0.1 microfarad. Okay, so that's how you read it. Next one over is um, the DC-DC connect um, converters that you will use. Uh, they convert 12 volts to uh, plus minus 15. You will use three of them. They're all on the driver board here. The next pocket over is the LCD, the beautiful color screen LCD 128 by 128 pixel uh, serial connector here next one over here is a couple of bridges that you will use with this bridge boards and the output diode um, actually you were we, we stopped using output diode in um, our fully built kits um, if you use your charger continuously connected to the battery in your car, you really don't need the output diode anymore. 
Um, you just need to be careful on the first connection of the charger so that you don't get a huge and rush current and we have a procedure for that. Uh, but after that point you don't actually need to use it. These two things are IGBTs. Uh, these particular ones are 150 amps, um, 600 volts IGBTs. Uh, you may be supplied with a 200 amp version, with a 150 amp version. Um, they all work perfectly fine. Some of these IGBTs uh, might have different configuration of the tabs here, and you might need to uh, put some spacing so that you don't get shorts on the um, on the power board. Next one over here is a um, inrush limiters um, these are rated for 55 amps um, input current so you put them on the input uh, once you assemble the charger and connect it to the battery that's what you put in the input AC one per leg so um, one phase goes to uh, one of them and another phase goes to another um, and they're also used, or one of them is also used when you first connect the battery to the uh, uh, to the charger, and we'll explain that later. These are um, film caps uh, to be used on the power boards. This is a connector for um, two of these positions are used for input AC power. Two of these positions are used for output DC. And there is a little pocket with the, uh, a bunch of semiconductors. There is um, uh, uh, some small transistors, a couple of diodes, um, the um, uh, power FET transistor uh, to uh, control your fans um, or contactors, and the um, uh, 5 volt uh, regulator. Over here we have um, all the power caps um, that you will use. There are 17 of them. Uh, for the power board that's underneath them. Usually this uh, part will come um, wrapped together separately from this box and the caps will be on top of it. So this is how the power board looks. Um, it's got all the uh, all the positions for everything and it's got the provisions for, uh, uh, for the screws once you um, start putting the elements to, uh, together or the components together you will see that uh, these holes come really really handy uh, in assembling and disassembling things and everything is made uh, so that it matches um, uh, all the other boards so the distances between these two pads are uh, exactly the ones that you would need for this board the distances between these two things are exactly the things that uh, the distance that you would need to match this board and so forth and we'll show it when we assemble things okay lastly this is a 12 volt uh, precision supply it's uh, rated for 2 amps it's sufficient to run your fans and all the circuitry in the kit if uh, so this is our basic um, PFC kit if you order the enclosure with us, um, you will also get the enclosure and fans uh, matching the enclosure. And we really, really recommend to do this uh, because it makes uh, the assembly so much easier. Okay, so now we are going to start by assembling the power board.